uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be talking about a very interesting javascript uh, library which is basically called as reveal js so if you type on google guys reveal js is a tremendous uh, very popular powerpoint presentation framework with the help of this you will be able to create stunning cool little powerpoint presentations inside your browser itself using uh, html pure html so it comprises of basic html elements basically this is the documentation which is given so let me show you that uh, presentation that we will be building here so let me show you a very basic demo so you will see that guys this is a presentation it contains various slides out there and it comprises of various simple HTML elements here you will see basically we have a simple heading we have a paragraph and these are the controls out there we can go to the next slide so basically if you are in a company if you want to basically build a cool little presentation very quickly you can use this framework and using the mouse slider I am working on I am not uh, clicking on it I am but just with the help of my mouse, I am controlling this navigation. So I am just scrolling it inside my mouse to go into the next slide. We can even embed images guys, you will see. I can embed images. I can even embed uh, play YouTube videos as well. This is my YouTube video. I can simply play it inside the iframe tag. And also you can basically show you some code guys syntax highlighting is also supported So let's suppose if you are wanting to show any sort of uh, Source code inside your presentation. You can even embed this source code as well So this is the actual presentation guys. We will be basically be integrating using reveal.js I will be showing you how to integrate this library inside your browser in order to create this awesome little uh, HTML presentation PowerPoint presentation so it has its own editor guys if you want to go to slides.com they have their own editor this is the editor which is powered by reveal.js so basically if you want to visually create presentation you can do it it's a paid tool but you can uh, create presentation for free inside this so many people have created this so you can check out this website so inside my blog post guys the link is given in the description of this video in this live stream i have given all the source code so now let's get started how to basically use it inside pure javascript so now first of all what we need to do just create a simple index.html file here and right here guys first of all we just need to include all the cdn links which are necessary for this uh, application so what i will do is that i will simply include all the cdn links so you can even go to my blog post the very first step is that if you go to the blog post i have given this so simply copy to clipboard and simply paste it so this will include all the cdn links guys which are required for this you will see the css and the javascript for reveal js and this is for the theme you will see this is the sky theme sky min.js and now in order to uh, create some slides guys this is really easy using sample markup html so we need to have a parent slide let me show you so every slide guys which have we need to wrap all the slides here with a div tag which will have a class of reveal so you just need to wrap all this and inside this we will have the common class here which is slides so inside this you would define your powerpoint presentation so now i will be defining the first slide first slide in the presentation so this can be a simple section so every slide will be having this section tag guys you need to comprise that and inside this you will say that uh, welcome to powerpoint presentation like this and basically you can have a paragraph which is this is my first html ppt by in reveal js like this so now if you open this guys nothing will show here 
Now to show it, it's very easy. You need to first of all initialize the reveal.js library. How we define this is really simple. We basically have a function here which is reveal and it basically contains this initialize function and here you need to pass empty object. That's all. This is all that you need to do. If you open this, you will now see basically this is the theme which is applied here and if you see here, basically this is the actual font which is used here. You can see this is the actual font. This is your heading. This is your short little description. You can basically change this. Changes will take place. So this is basically guys, you can add uh, slides here, which is you can basically add uh, headings, paragraphs, now to add a second slide guys it's very simple now to add the second slide what we will do is that we will make basically make a new section here so here if I say this is second slide so what it will do guys basically this is the second slide here in the PowerPoint presentation this was the first slide so what it will do basically it will create a control out there you will see so if I click it, I will go to the second control. So you will see a slight transition effect is also there. So this is built in inside reveal.js. You don't need to reinvent the wheel or write uh, additional code for this. So automatically this transition effect is built in inside reveal.js. So all these transition animation effects that you are seeing right here whenever we are navigating to the next slide. So these controls are also there automatically. So whenever you write this. So after this guys, what we can say is that we can define this in, let me just, this is basically the about me section. So we can say about me inside h2 tag. So we can basically have a unordered list here and simply we can list here what we do so if you just open this now you will see this is unordered list here list bullet items you will see that about me so if you want to change the color guys i think you can even change this so just put a color property here and put it to red so you will see uh, if i go to the second color is changed here so you can even change color here accordingly if you do want to style it using css you can also write here custom styles as well so inline styles accordingly so you can style it accordingly this totally depends upon you how you need to customize this and then comes uh, how basically we can uh, similarly we will have the third slide so this is also will be a simple slide which will contain a h2 tag and the paragraph this is third slide and now i will be showing you how to embed images so in, in order to embed images this is very simple you can even embed images from your local file system this is really simple image tag source and then you need to provide the image so i can go to my website and if i want to embed the image So what I can say, copy image address and simply I will paste it here. So if you see guys uh, the presentation now, I think the Im image will be there. You will see the image is embedded here. So nothing fancy ne you need to do, just put an image tag. So automatically your presentation will be made. And now you can even customize this. Let's suppose you want to change the width of the image to 500 and the height to also 500. So it will basically resize. So you can see that the image is now resized here to 500 width and height. You can control the sizing here. And next I will show you guys how basically we can import any sort of YouTube video. Let's suppose if you want to create a new slide where we need to play the YouTube video so we can play it using the iframe tag and basically here 
I have given all the source code in the description of the video. So you need to copy paste the video ID guys of the YouTube video we are providing width and the height and you need to replace here the video ID. So whichever video you need to replace. So let's suppose I will replace my own video. I will go to YouTube and uh, let's suppose I want to go to coding section and let's suppose this video I won't need to import. So what I will do is that simply copy this portion which is video ID. Copy it and simply I will paste it here. That's all that you need to do. And now if you see your YouTube video is also there. So this is a slide basic presentation guys which is made here. And the nice thing about that uh, it supports various themes out there. Reveal.js inside your CDN guys basically there is uh, this, this second CDN th link here. You can customize this. If you see the documentation, it basically supports many themes. If I change to moon, moonmin.js, you will see that now this will be changed here automatically. This moon theme is slightly different and now you can see that. And one more thing I forgot guys, uh, if you want to embed code inside your presentation, you can even do that as well by using the pre tag. So we will have another section tag here and basically what you can do is that we can embed some source code as well using pre tag syntax highlighting. So we can use the pre tag and inside this we can use the code tag and we can give it a class. So whichever language you are embedding, embedding the code. So we will embed the JavaScript code here. So we will say language JavaScript this will be function add numbers so this code will be embedded here so if you just refresh now guys this is the presentation so you will see the code is embedded right here source code and uh, if you see various themes are available black blood dracula so what you can say uh, basically what you can do Dracula blood so various themes are there guys so it will change it accordingly blood and uh, you can see that it is changed here fonts is also automatically changed and uh, Inside this guys I have given all the options that you can control here inside reveal initialize a constructor you can basically pass a lot of options so I have given all these options in my blog post so you can play with those and if you not need to show the controls this is a boolean parameter default value is true if you make it false then the controls will not be shown here you will see controls will not be shown and uh, this will make your presentation slightly difficult so I will definitely say that you should not change this value so just change don't change this value so don't write it and progress controls slide number all these options I have given in the description so you can do that so one such option is loop option so loop is basically if you make it true then automatically your presentation will run automatically you don't need to run it I think if you run it okay so in this way guys you can build your uh, HTML PowerPoint presentation using reveal.js this is a slightly basic example thank you very much all the source code is given in the description of the video